Hi friends, welcome back for Children's Chapel. Today is the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. And as you can see, we've added another green ribbon to our ribbon calendar. If you have a calendar at home, you can add another green Sunday. And if you have this calendar, it's upside down. <laughs> uh, you can color in the fourth Sunday green. All right, we are going to get started just like we always do. We're going to light our candle. If you have a candle at home, you can light yours with me with an adult's help. And we're going to say, why do we light the candle? To remind us that God is with us. Next, we are going to move into our time of prayer and to get our hearts and our bodies and our minds ready to talk to God, we are going to use the singing bowl. We're gonna put our hands in the air. I'm gonna ring the bowl. We're gonna to listen to the sound. When we can't hear it anymore, we're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna pray the Lord's Prayer together. So, hands up. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Next, we are going to sing our song with Jimmy. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. Overcome by your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are welcome here come flood this place and fill the atmosphere your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Great singing, everybody. Next, we are going to do our ritual of water. And so, if you're following along at home, you'll need a small bowl, small cup of water and maybe something to dry your hands off with. We are going to pour the water into the bowl to remind us of our baptism. And at our baptism, we are reminded that we are loved by God and we are welcomed into God's family and God's community. And so each week during this time, we remember that God loves us. I invite you and everyone who's watching to touch the water and to say, God loves me. And then once everybody has done that, I want you to look at each other and remind each other that God loves you. It's important to remind ourselves of God's love and it's important to remind other people of God's love. Next, we are going to hear our story. Jesus calms a storm. 
This story comes from the Bible. The Bible has 66 different books inside of it. Four of the books tell us about Jesus' life. They are called the Gospels. This story can be found in Matthew, Mark, and Luke's Gospel. Jesus loves to teach and tell stories to others. Crowds of people gather around to listen to him talk. One evening, Jesus needs a break from the crowds of people. He says to his disciples, let's go across to the other side of the sea. So Jesus and his disciples get into a boat and set out across the sea. During the night, there is a great big windstorm. The wind blows, the waves crash, the boat is tossed around in the water. How might the disciples feel? What can they do? Jesus sleeps through the storm. He does not hear the wind. He does not feel the boat rocking. Could you sleep through a storm like Jesus? The storm is getting very scary. The disciples have to wake him up. Jesus, we are in trouble. Don't you care that our boat might sink? They ask him. Jesus gets up. He looks at the disciples and says, Why are you afraid? Do you not have faith in God? Jesus looks out over the stormy sea. Peace, be still, he says. Suddenly the wind stops and the sea is calm again. The disciples are amazed by Jesus' power to calm the storm. This is just another way that Jesus shows us God's power. The end. All right, our story today talks about Jesus and the disciples traveling across the sea when a storm hits. Now, Jesus is asleep when this happens, and the disciples are scared, and I'm sure the boat is going back and forth, and oh my goodness, I can't imagine what that would be like to be on the water in a storm. I think I would be really scared too. But Jesus is with them, and he's sleeping through the whole thing. And so the disciples finally wake him up and Jesus is able to calm the storm. This is one of those miracles that we talk about that Jesus does. He calms the storm. And so thinking about this in our own lives, sometimes we have moments where it can feel really stormy in our lives, not like having an actual rain and thunderstorm, but things might not be going the best way. And we might be wondering what we can do. And sometimes it feels like we can't really do much. But we can be like the disciples and we can turn toward Jesus. And we can pray and talk to God about what's troubling us. About what's going on in our lives. And so Jesus and God can offer that calm when things are not going the way that we want them to. And not only is Jesus and God there for us, but also our church communities, our friends, our family. There are so many people to turn to when times are, tr are hard. But we always need to remember that Jesus and God are there during those stormy times of life. All right, that is all the time that we have for Children's Chapel today. We are going to blow out our candle, but remember when we blow out the candle, that doesn't mean that God is no longer with us. It just means that our reminder is no longer there. God is always with us. Bye friends, have a great week.